end in sight in the war gun sales have seen a boost here in the states, but retailers are unable to keep up with demand. Hayden Savage spoke to one about what they are seeing. Yeah, hey, good evening. Guns like these here at Sportsman's Edge and Ash Flat are absolutely flying off the shelf, and they say it's a trend that could likely continue. They're buying AR-15s, they're buying handguns, uh, they buy a few self-defense type shotguns. Gun retailers across the country are very busy right now. What can we help you with? The recent war overseas has prompted multiple gun owners to increase their arsenal. That caused us to get really busy and we sold all of the AR-15s we had in one day a couple weeks ago. But it isn't just weapons that are hard to keep on the shelves right now, but also ammunition. This also affected the 5.56 ammunition and the 9mm ammunition, which made it hard to get now, and of course the price went up on all of it a little bit. This is a Savage 110. Simer said it's been difficult at times getting certain firearms and the ammunition for them. And with the war in Israel continuing, he said it likely won't be getting any better anytime soon. I expect that it will get some worse. Uh, the price and availability of all the NATO rounds, that's like 9mm, 5.56, 7.62. Anything that's a NATO ram will get hard to get again. And Simer's advice for gun owners, if you're looking to purchase a particular type of firearm or ammo, now is the time to do it. I, I tell people if it's sitting on the rack and you think you want it, you probably better buy it because this has happened time and time again. I have a, a customer see something that he wants and he comes back too late, two days later and it's gone. In Ash Flat, Hayden Savage, K8 News. Hayden, thank you. Sources said firearm instructors and retailers had multiple Jewish Americans reach out about buying a gun, some for the first time.